Juliet, wherefore art thou, Juliet? Art thou not, Juliet? If thou dost see her, I beg of thou, give her this locket in place of mine heart. Was that? I... I'm sorry, miss. I didn't know there'd been an accident. I'll gladly help you, but I don't think I'd be any good to you right now. I'm not quite right in my head today. I feel strangely swoony. I keep having this daydream about a beautiful girl on a balcony. There are bandages in the medic's office. The door's stuck, but you can get in through the bar upstairs if you're not afraid of heights. Juliet's not afraid of heights. She likes to stand there and gaze at the moon. Wait, what did I just say? I saw Juliet a few days ago. Okay, the actress who played her in the movie. That one, Barbara Miller. At least, I think so. She looked like she hadn't aged at all. The same as she was when she played Juliet in the movie. She hangs around with some shady scientist who does top secret research around here.
am I? Oh, I remember now. Are you kids all right? What happened? Where did those camels come from? Was I seeing things? I wish I knew. We looked for help, but there's no one around, except some poor crazed soldier talking nonsense. That and the base keeps turning into a movie set. Only the movies are real. What's going on, Uncle Lee? Is this connected to Dad's projector? I don't know, but it might have something to do with Linda's escape. Let's go get help. Let's get to the headquarters. Let's get to the headquarters. We've got to get past this fence, but first we need to turn off the generator in the basement. Here's a key for the hatch. Porter's G-Man. I, I recognize you. You're that wolf girl. How in the world did you get here? It, it's too dangerous down here. You had better get out. Whatever you do, don't trust the general. If you trust him, you'll end up just like that poor girl Linda. And don't worry about me. Just go. Run while you still can. You can still escape. Go! Now! There's no time to lose! Get out of here! I don't have time to play games with you spoiled brats. Get into the basement and turn off that generator, or I'll turn your brother into camel kibble. I heard everything. Thank you for not telling him I'm here. I'm sorry that it's come to this. Listen, he wants to use your father's projector to start a war. Linda and I tried to stop him, but he found out. He shot me, took off with her. I've lost a lot of blood, and I'm too weak to help you. You must play along, or he'll kill you. Do as he asks, but when he turns his back, run.
You're well overdue for a family reunion. You, your brother, and your sister can have a little chat. Your work is done, my sweet. You're no longer any use to me. She can tell you all about her work as my double agent and my test subject. I can't think of a better way for two sisters to bond than to take in a little movie together. <laughs> Just sit back and relax. After all, this is your daddy's invention. bring you in here, so I came to check on you. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's your brother. He was exposed to the projector. You were exposed too? But it doesn't seem to have any effect on you. Maybe you had already been exposed to it once. But your brother, he needs help. There's a tape I used to cure Linda. It's an audio recording that counters the projector's effect. But I don't have it. You'll have to find Linda. She might know where the tape is. I'll stay here with your brother and look after him. Play the tape recorder for Frederick. It's the only way to help. The tape recorder is the only thing that can cure Frederick now. <laughs> <laughs> 